Hello, I'm Ross Mould, AJ Bell's Investment Director, and welcome to Fundamentals, where I'm going to look at the single most popular exchange traded fund on the AJ Bell Invest Centre platform right now, and that is iShares UK Gilts 0 to 5 years. Now, as we all know, an ETF is designed to track or mirror the performance of the underlying assets and deliver that performance minus any running costs. In this case, iShares UK Gilts 0 to 5 years uses physical or direct replication to provide that performance, so it owns the underlying securities. It's designed to track a FTSE bond benchmark, the FTSE UK Conventional Gilts Up to 5 Years Index. Now that contains sterling denominated UK bonds, government bonds, that are quoted on the London Stock Exchange and have no more than 5 years to maturity. Only conventional gilts are included, so that rules out index linkers, for example. The ETF comes with a competitive total expense ratio of 0.2% and a 12-month yield of 0.9%. Do note, however, that the ETF units trade at the moment at around £134 a piece, which is pretty chunky. Now, iShares UK Gilt 0 to 5 year has £1 billion under management, and for those who put faith in such things, it's got a one-star Morningstar ranking. The graphic here shows how the tracker has performed since its launch back in April 2009. So those are the mechanics. The question to address next is why would advisors and clients be buying right now? And I think there are three possible reasons why this tracker is currently so popular on the platform. The first is that this tracker is in some ways as close as you can get to being in cash without actually being in cash. As such, it's a convenient place to park money, eke out a bit of yield, even after expenses, and plan what you want to do next. Second, October ushered in a risk-off period for markets, which are now digesting the US presidential election result. In addition, we've all still got to confront both the Italian constitutional reform referendum on the 4th of December and the ongoing debate in the UK over Article 50 and how and when it will be implemented and triggered. Third, inflation expectations have started to rise, especially in the UK, owing to the fall in the pound and the rally in oil from below its $30 bottom. As a result, Governor Mark Carney declared after the Bank of England's November policy meeting that the next move in UK interest rates could be up or down, and not just down as he hinted before. This tracker follows short duration bonds, and so could provide some capital protection against any rise in interest rates while still allowing clients to seek some income. In this case, the ETF's portfolio has got an effective duration of just 2.7 years, something which may appeal to clients who want a little income, some shelter from market volatility, and flexibility to act by parking cash in an instrument that should be pretty liquid in normal market conditions. Now, this tracker won't appeal to everyone, not least as the yield is low, and if inflation fizzles and central banks decide to do nothing, then long-duration bonds could again confound the doubters. Advisors and clients will therefore need to ensure that the ETF does fit with their overall strategy, target returns, appetite for risk, and time horizon before they put any capital to work. So thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.